A 10 kilogram object has 100 joules of kinetic energy. What is its velocity? Let's just figure out what we know. 10 kgs. There are 100 joules of Pe, or rather Ka. And the unknown will be velocity. So we can write the variables. M is 10, Ke is 100, and V is the unknown. Given that Ke is 1 half times M times V squared, and the Ke, well, let's just take a moment. We don't have to rewrite yet. We can solve this for the unknown. We'll be solving for V. V is squared. It's multiplied by M and divided by 2, or multiplied by 1 half. So we should have rewritten. Let's rewrite again and we'll manipulate. If I want to get V by itself, I'll divide by M and multiply both sides by 2. 2's will cancel. M's will cancel, and we end up with V squared will be 2 times Ke divided by M. So V squared will be 2 times what the kinetic energy is. That's going to be 100 kilograms meter squared per second squared divided through by M. 10 kgs. Now v squared is equal to this. We can't forget to take the square root. Kgs will cancel kgs. 2 times 100 is 200 divided by 10 is 20. Square root of 20. v squared equals 20. So we rewrite. v squared equals 20 meter squared per second squared and if we take the square root of both sides we'll end up with units of meters per second and the square root of 20 is 4.47 nice work